Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Ryan Baker. Trading was halted for 15 minutes as the markets tumbled. It comes amid growing worries about the coronavirus affecting the global economy and oil prices. And so we want to give you a live look right now at the big board at the New York Stock Exchange. You can see the Dow has made a bit of a comeback, but it's still down 1,000 points at 24,530 under that 25,000 benchmark. CBS 2's Naomi Ruckham has a look at what's behind the sell-off. The sell-off began at the opening bell. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted more than 1,800 points within the first minute, and the S&P dropped more than 7%, triggering a trading halt for 15 minutes. We have precautions and measures put in place to slow the market down when it's moving very quickly in either direction, either up or down, so that investors have an opportunity to take a step back, understand what's going on, and react. A dispute between oil-producing nations sparked the latest global sell-off. Demand for oil has slowed worldwide because of the growing coronavirus crisis. OPEC nations tried to make a deal to cut production in order to prop up prices, but it fell through, sparking a price war. I'm going to call it sort of a trade war between Russia and Saudi Arabia. The two largest powers in oil fighting is not good. Investors are already on edge about the impact of the coronavirus outbreak on the global economy. Many are seeking shelter in the safety of the bond market, pushing yields to new lows. This is really about uncertainty, and uncertainty is what creates that volatility. And until we understand the spread of the virus in the United States and efforts to contain and mitigate it, I think that volatility is likely to continue. If the S&P 500 falls 20 percent, trading would halt for the remainder of the day. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, Wall Street.